I'm Nancy Hall. Although most people think of children when they think of poisoning, the fact is most poisoning deaths happen to adults like you and me. This video will tell you how these poisonings occur, how to prevent them, and how the Poison Center can help you to prevent or treat a poisoning. Poison fact. Medicines can be harmful if taken in wrong doses or if combined with some other medicines. I had a cold, a very bad one, so I took some medication for it. I forgot I had already taken my blood pressure medicine that day. After a while, I felt dizzy, and I got very scared. I guess I shouldn't have mixed medicines. What would you do? Luckily, Beverly called the Poison Center hotline at 1-800-222-1222. Poison Center, can I help? I think I mixed some medicines. OK. Now, what are the names of the medications that you're taking? Good. And when did you last have that medication? I should have just put my glasses on. The label said not to mix these medicines together. Luckily, I knew how many I had taken, and the poison center said not to worry. She even called back to see if I was okay. I think you're going to be absolutely fine. Beverly was smart to call the poison center. We were able to determine that she hadn't taken enough medication to put her in a dangerous situation. Um, and she just needed to take it easy for about an hour or so. We checked back with her later in the evening, and she was feeling fine. I had also taken my blood pressure medication. It's important to take your medication safely. Read the label, read the patient information that comes with them, put your glasses on. If it's nighttime, turn the light on. So Beverly did the right thing to call the Poison Center. I'm Roseanne Soloway with the American Association of Poison Control Centers. Around the country, poison centers are available to help you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The experts at your poison center are nurses, pharmacists, and physicians with special additional training. So even if you call about something unusual, they have experience and information to help you right over the phone. The poison control specialist knew what to do right away. I was so glad I called. By calling the poison center, Beverly got the expert help she needed. In fact, millions of people call their local poison centers every year. Poisons are not always what we think they are. And they lurk in some very common places, from our bathrooms to our backyards. Poison fact. Store chemicals and household products only in their original containers. If you transfer them to food or beverage containers, someone might eat or drink them by mistake. Many everyday things can be poisons if we use them in the wrong way. For example, medicines, if taken by the wrong person or in the wrong amount, household products, automotive products, hydrocarbons. This includes things like gasoline, paint thinner, kerosene, lamp oil, and furniture polish, pesticides, even wild mushrooms. Poison fact. Carefully read and follow product labels for safe use and storage information. So how do poisonings happen? Well, they can happen in several different ways. Swallowing. We take too much medicine or the wrong medicine. Or we swallow something that shouldn't be swallowed at all. Inhaling or breathing in. This might happen if we use a strong chemical in a room with no ventilation or have our car running in a closed garage. Skin contact. Everything from oven cleaners to pesticides can be harmful if they get on your skin. Eye contact. Strong chemicals can injure your eyes, whether at home or on the job. Wearing protective goggles can prevent this type of poisoning. Things that get under or through your skin. These include snakes, spiders, scorpions, and illegal IV drug abuse. It's important to call the Poison Center because every situation is different. Specialists in poison information are experienced health care providers. They're also trained to recognize and treat poisonings. Because of their experience and training, they can figure out if a situation is dangerous for you. Okay, real good. We want people to call us as soon as anything happens, as soon as they have a question. 
there are times when we need to intervene immediately, and there are times when we don't need to do anything at all. But let us help you make that decision. Si diga, señora, yo hablo español. Even if you don't speak English, the Poison Center has access to translators of well over 100 languages, as well as capability for helping the hearing impaired. Did you know? Poison Control Centers are open all day, every day, 24-7. You only need to remember one number to reach any Poison Center in the United States. You'll get the one closest to you. The good news is, most poisonings are preventable. But if prevention fails, the Poison Center is always ready to help you. See that game last night? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, they won again. My when you work with chemicals, you are always on the alert. We know how dangerous chemicals are, but mistakes happen. My coworker Hector got cleaner in his eyes. Oh, 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 Bob. You all right? I knew he had to rinse his eyes with water. I called Poison Control to find out what to do next. My coworker Hector, he uh, got some cleaner in his eyes, and I've already rinsed it out for 15 minutes. What do I need to do next? When we get a call from somebody who's gotten something in the eye, the first thing we'll have them do is to flush the eye for 15 minutes. So Bob did the right thing. Tell me now, how are Hector's eyes feeling? Uh-huh. Good. No foreign body sensation. They're not tearing. Real good. OK. All right. Um, what I'll do is check back with you this evening. If you have any questions, if there are any problems at all, I want you to call me right back. We really learned our lesson on that one. We work with this stuff every day, and we really should have been wearing our goggles. We're wearing them now. The Poison Center is here all the time. Our services are immediately available at no charge and are strictly confidential. As we can see from Bob and Hector's experience, it's important for you to stay calm and to have the number for the Poison Center hotline on hand or even programmed into your speed dial. Poison prevention is as important for adults as for children. When you do call, you'll need some key information for the poison control professional. When inhaled, it's going to cause irritated chest. Um, to help, we need to know what happened. If there's a container, bring it to the phone with you. The most important thing to remember is to call the Poison Center right away. The Poison Center expert will take it from there. They'll ask for some information. Just stay calm and try to tell them as much as you know. Here are some typical questions. What happened? When? Is the person having any symptoms? How old is the person? Name of the product? How much of the product is missing? And contact information. Staying calm might be hard, but you're in good hands. The Poison Center will be able to help you. Did you know? Carbon monoxide and pesticides are just two of the substances that can poison you if you breathe them in. I was cleaning my bathroom. Unfortunately, a rare occasion on my part. Anyway, I was using the tub cleaner and I thought I needed a stronger product, so I added some bleach. Big mistake. <coughs> I started to cough really hard, and my throat was burning. What would you do? I had the poison control number because I have kids, and I thought I should call. Poison Center, can I help? Uh-huh. Yes, I'm out in the fresh air. When Sharon called, she had mixed two household chemicals together and actually created a completely different compound, very irritating gas. So the first thing we did was to make sure that she was completely out of the area. Sometimes if they're having a lot of coughing and a lot of upper respiratory irritation, if they're able to, we'll have them go into the other bathroom, take a shower, get some humidity into their lungs, and that often settles the uh, symptoms down pretty quickly. But the main thing is to get her away from the exposure and then see. We called her back in about 20 minutes to see how she was doing and she was getting progressively better so we didn't need to do anything further. Here I'd put the poison control sticker on my phone in case one of the kids ever got into trouble. It turns out I needed it myself. I really appreciated the advice the specialist gave me. Did you know Poison centers manage about 2.5 million poison emergencies every year. Most calls are from people just like you and me. 
but about 25% come from healthcare providers, like emergency rooms, doctor's offices, and clinics. The impressive thing is that your poison center can handle most calls over the phone, which can not only give you peace of mind, but can save you a potentially costly trip to the emergency room. Even healthcare providers call for advice when they're treating poisoned patients. There are some first aid steps for poisonings. If you splash something in your eyes, rinse them with running water for 15 minutes, then call the poison center. If you splash something on your skin, rinse with running water for 15 minutes, take off any contaminated clothing, and then call the poison center. If you inhale something poisonous, get to fresh air right away and call the poison center. If you swallow something you shouldn't, call the poison center right away. Of course, if someone is not breathing, having seizures, or won't wake up, call 911 or your local emergency ambulance number immediately. Even when you're not sure there's really a problem, better be safe than sorry. Always pick up the phone and call the poison center right away. Let us help you. The most important thing to remember is this number, 1-800-222-1222. The sticker makes it easy. Call right away for any kind of poisoning problem, or even with a question. Poison prevention tips for adults you'll want to remember. Read labels before giving or taking medicine. Read labels on household products. Be sure not to mix them. Whether you're at home or work, use protective equipment if needed. For example, goggles, gloves, or breathing equipment. Store products in their original containers. Use child-resistant packaging if any children spend time in your home. Lock products up out of reach of children and pets. Remember, the Poison Center is always there to help people of all ages. The Poison Center reminds you that you can prevent poisoning. Stay safe, and thanks for watching. For more information and for phone stickers and magnets, call your local Poison Center at 1-800-222-222. One two two two. Poison prevention info is also available at either of these sites.